All right, guys, so today we're gonna be talking about all things Sonic the Hedgehog Movie 2 because, oh, uh, there's all kinds of things that got leaked, and we're gonna discuss it all because at the end of the first movie, well, you all saw Tails pop in and say, oh, I gotta find old Sonic. So, of course, we know the next movie is gonna feature Tails, and through some of the rumors that I've been getting, it's also probably gonna feature Knuckles as well, and that is just awesome news. So, we'll get to all that in a second, but I wanna first tell you that this episode is brought to you by Vistle's Monitors and Zephyr Gaming Mouses, which we'll show at the end of this episode. All right, kids, so as you know, I just love this Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and the best part was at the end, well, Tails came out at the end looking for Sonic. So that left the door open for a sequel featuring good old Tails, which is a big part of the Sonic the Hedgehog legacy. So I can't wait to see him in the sequel, which is gonna be fantastic. Now, last week over at Sega Bits, it was announced that, yep, a second movie is coming and it's going to be released on April 8th, 2022. So we've got about a year and a half for that to come out and they released this really awesome poster to show in fact that yes, it is coming. Oh, I just love this poster. We have Sonic on one side and Tails on the other, making this one super awesome and making everybody speculate anywhere how this is gonna pan out. Because one of the questions that fans had was, well, why is Tails looking for Sonic in the first place? And since he did come to Earth, it means that, well, their home world is in trouble. And it's probably because of Dr. Robotnik showing up and destroying it. Oh, man. And it looks like in the next episode, well, these two are finally going to meet. And it's going to be a really awesome scene. Because based on this frame alone, well, we can kind of speculate on how the next storyline in the second movie is going to go. Because at the end of the movie, well, Dr. Robotnik was left stuck in that mushroom world. So that will give him time to start building his robot army in the Sonic home world. And that, of course, is the plot line of all the Sonic the Hedgehog games. So now we're going to start really getting into the meat of this Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. So I'm sure when this next episode opens up, well, Sonic and Tails are probably going to go to their home world and track down Dr. Robotnik, who is wreaking all kinds of havoc in this mushroom land. Now, the interesting thing to point out about this Mushroom Land is that this is an actual level from the game Sonic and Knuckles. Now, with this in mind, this might also open the door for another character to show up, which is, well, Knuckles. And I gotta tell you, kids, I think it's a really good chance that since that's the case, we are actually gonna see Knuckles in the sequel. And I was looking online and you know what? I actually found really cool fan-made pictures of how he'll probably look like. But bam, look at that. Wow, now that is awesome. I really wanna see Knuckles look just like that in this movie because he looks fantastic. And of course, over in Japan, <laughs> I've actually made a baby Knuckles picture. Oh man, that's so cute. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if baby Knuckles showed up? Oh, that'd be fantastic. But uh, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Looks like somebody else actually went up a little bit further and made versions of all these characters. Look at this, Amy, Shadow. Wow, they did a really good job on these. But uh, yeah, fantastic. I really like that Knuckles. So man, there are some really good fan posters out there. Look at this one. Ooh, we've got all three of them over the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 logo. So yep, we have Amy over here, which, ooh, that's a really good Amy. So now I really don't think Amy's gonna be showing up in the sequel. If anything, we'll probably just get Knuckles and Tails because, well, they'll be the easiest to throw into this storyline. Because with Tails, yep, as you know, these guys have to team up at some point in the movie to take down Dr. Robotnik in the Mushroom Land, which, of course, where we saw Knuckles in the video game. And as you know, Knuckles is the protector of those Chaos Emerald things. So if we're gonna see Knuckles, well, it's a good chance that we'll probably also see a version of Super Sonic show up as well. Oh, man, wouldn't that be cool? Ha, huh, seen Sonic just like this? Now this is of course is a fan-made picture, but boy, I tell you what, if he shows up like that, I am totally on board. Oh, I love that Super Sonic. So yep, Tails, Knuckles, Super Sonic, that's what I'm talking about. And of course the best part of confirmed news is that the actor of Dr. Robotnik, Jim Carrey, said that if he shows up in a sequel, he actually wants to wear a fat suit, which is perfect. Cause we all know Dr. Robotnik's supposed to have this rotund body, you know? <laughs> He's got a little weight to him. Where in the movie, well, he was pretty thin. So that'd be pretty cool. Since he's open to it, well, we just might see Jim Carrey in a fat suit making Dr. Robotnik that beefy badnik we all know and love. <laughs> oh man, and I say bring it on. 
The one thing no one is really talking about is, well, since Dr. Robotnik is hanging out in this Mushroom Hill Zone, well, he's gonna be building a huge robot army. So you know what? I think that's really gonna leave that door open for another iconic Sonic the Hedgehog character to show up. And that is, ooh, that crazy Metal Sonic. Now I haven't seen anyone talk about this, but, but I really think there's a great chance that this guy will show up. And the directors have said they really wanna start getting into the uh, backstory of Sonic the Hedgehog. So if that's the case, we'll ex start expecting to see all these really cool characters show up in the sequel. I'm not sure what it'll look like, but ooh, here's a really good interpretation that this guy made. Wow, really metallic, it looks real like. So he might look like that, or like, oh man, that? Oh yeah, I don't think so, but uh, well, unfortunately, this is the only picture I've been able to find that looks like a real life Sonic, because like I said, no one is even talking about it, which I'm not sure why. It makes so much sense to actually add into the next uh, sequel here, and I really think he's gonna show up, kids based on everything I've been reading so far. So, yep, let's hope that news gets leaked here soon. Now, I know a lot of people online are hoping for Shadow to be in the next sequel, but you know what? I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be really, really unlikely that he'll show up because, well, he's supposed to come later in the uh, storyline in the Sonic the Hedgehog video games. But if he does, it'll probably be in a short cutscene at the very end to tease the third movie. So I'm not gonna totally count it out, but yep, I'm gonna tell you kids right now, don't expect to see Shadow in this next movie unless it is, like I said, in one of those cutscenes. But I do have to say, I ended up finding this picture online. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got Shadow in the driver's seat. He's looking at the old Sonic that everybody hated. Oh, I just love it. But uh, yeah, other than that, everybody's just making all kinds of Shadow memes on the internet because they really want to see him in this next movie. I mean, yeah, he is pretty iconic, but yeah, I think he's very unlikely. And like I said, the same thing probably goes for Amy as well. I'm not sure how they could really work her into the storyline until maybe the third sequel? Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I will say it's more likely that we'll see Knuckles because they've already laid the groundwork for that. Especially since in the first movie, they put that one scene in there where we saw one of Knuckles' ancestors. Ah, oh, look at that. Yep, behind the mask there, you can tell it's one of those Knuckle guys. And we know it's a descendant of Knuckles because, well, the director actually said it was. So yep, there's another link that comes out that tells us that Knuckles is indeed in the works. Nice. And of course, one last leak coming out is that guys like John Cena and The Rock are rumored to be in the sequel. And if they are, oh man, we're just wondering what role are they gonna play? Will they be the voice of Knuckles? Or dare I say, Metal Sonic? Oh man, that would be cool. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm not sure what role they'll play, but oh, that would be cool nonetheless. But like I said, the most likely prospect of getting new characters is Knuckles, especially because they laid the groundwork with that really cool cutscene. And what's cool about that is this Knuckle tribe has been teased in the comic books as well as the Sonic X TV show. So yep, there's a long history of these tribal Knuckles clan showing up in this franchise. So we know it's only a matter of time before these guys show up on the big screen. Oh yeah, Knuckles. So yeah, give me Knuckles, give me Tails, give me good old Super Sonic as well as Metal Sonic, and I will be a happy camper. All right, kids, well, there's all the news coming at you. If we hear any more, we will definitely make another video, but that's it for now. And thankfully, we know the characters won't look like this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, for crying out loud, I just love it. All right, guys, if you love gaming, and I know you do, well, make sure you check out this really cool gaming mouse by Zephyr, because look at that. Whoa, this thing's all rainbow color and lights up. Gotta love that, this is really cool. I put the links to buy this in the description, so make sure you check those out. And with a gaming mouse, you're gonna need a gaming monitor, and we've got one right here, this Vissel's monitor, which is 15 inches. Whoa, and check this thing out. Wow, this thing is so flat. I've never seen a monitor Ooh, it's so thin and lightweight. Oh, it's only like a pound. Holy cow, but yep, this is one high-powered gaming monitor, and you can find this in the description as well to buy one for your very own. Really neat. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, for crying out loud, I just love it.